across a what does this say? Uh, well, we could, or you could tell us where Sue's going next. Sure. This is Daryl. How you doing? This is Sue's head. And uh, both versions of Sue right now. One is in Dubai, going to New Zealand. Sue's in Dubai. Everything's going to Dubai. Yeah, you know, they have to have the biggest and the best of everything. I bet you they would buy the real thing if they could. They probably would. And it's not for sale. Not for sale. Well, you guys would go out of business if it, if yeah. you sold. Sue stuff would be worthless. The market would drop. That's right. So how many of these things do you have? We have two that we currently travel with, and the other one's in Tennessee, and we'll be going back to our home in Spain, South Dakota. Cool. So it should be a big welcoming home there. Yeah, but how many people in South Dakota? Like 10? Yeah. A little big well, you know, there? that's where she was found, so I think a lot of people show up to celebrate her, uh, her discovery again. Oh, no, South Dakota... Uh, yearly event or something no well she hasn't been back there the cast has never been back oh there really was... this would that would be a big thing yeah. cool this is the volcano shop and did you ever watch the brady bunch episode where they built the volcano no i never saw that and it blows up this is actually where they make volcanoes yeah. for the museum and what volcano is this you're working on this is the strata volcano um, strata sort of most common type and uh um, yeah, there's sort of a few others. There's a shield one, which is just a big, big one in Hawaii. There's a lava dome, I believe it's called, and a uh, cinder cone. Speaking of Hawaii, you know what this smells like in here? A glass and shop for surfboards. You guys use resin in here, don't you? Yeah, fiberglass. Yeah, polyester resin and fiberglass. That's what these are going to be made of. I can smell it now. Yeah. Real Pirates is coming to the Chicago Field Museum. What's it about? Um, it's about the um, discovery uh, about 10 years ago by a man named Barry Clifford of a pirate wreck off the coast of Cape Cod, um, which had been a slave ship built in Britain in 1715, which was captured by pirates and taken over as a, being a better ship. Most of the slaves went over to the pirate ship, became pirates, and were pillaging the Caribbean. And they sailed up the east coast of the U.S. and foundered off Cape Cod, and Barry Clifford discovered the wreck after many years of searching. Now, where's it going to be next? It's going to be at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, opening around um, Memorial Day, I believe. And it's going to come to the Field Museum in uh, winter 2009. You think it's going to be a big hit? It's going to be a great big hit. <laughs> so lots of tickets. We'll sell lots of tickets to Pirates, yeah. Now, what's on, what, what do they find on it? What kind of artifacts? Uh, about 11 cannon barrels, perfectly preserved. Um, weapons, uh, edged weapons like swords and daggers. Clothing, lots of gold, lots of silver, Spanish silver. Um, ceramics, uh, surgical instruments, personal objects. Just the whole spectrum of things you'd find on a pirate ship. Who owns it? Uh, Barry Clifford owns most of the um, of the finds, and that's uh, according to international law and convention. Nice, thank you. This is Dan's office. He collects shells. This is, but it's probably Daryl Dawkins' first backboard. Who's is, whose backboard is that? It's actually from the town of Greensburg, Kansas. And an F5 tornado went through there in May of 2007 and ripped this backboard from a school uh, parking lot and threw it about 300 feet away. So Not so good. All right, so there you have it. You know, couldn't catch possibly everything that the Field Museum has to offer. It was interesting to find out that McDonald's spent eight million dollars on Sue, the dinosaur, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, as you saw from North Dakota, back in 2000. Before that, they got to put a McDonald's downstairs. They've made their money back on that quite a bit, I would imagine. So just one of the very cool things to see here in Chicago. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. We'll go somewhere next week.